what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel so we got a special video today and that we got the arc ultra it got delivered a couple of minutes ago and i'm pretty excited to open it up and see how it looks and how it sounds so the first thing we're gonna do is a quick uh, time lapse of uh, the unboxing itself we're not gonna waste too much time on the unboxing and then we're gonna do a comparison video between the arc and the arc ultra and also see what the difference is in the exterior of the Arc versus Arc Ultra. And then we're going to do the first ever on this channel, uh, a sound test on the Arc Ultra as well. So we're going to start off with those three things. Depends on how long this video gets with those three things. We're going to also maybe include uh, the sound uh, test between the Arc versus Arc Ultra. But I think I will save that for tomorrow's video so we can really... Uh, try out a couple of videos to see what the big difference is in the sound between the Arc and the Arc Ultra because I know there's a lot of people out there that are wondering what the big difference is between these two and we're also going to talk about why I think Sonos released this speaker or this soundbar uh, right now as well so uh, those are my thoughts by the way so we're going to discuss a little bit uh, of that or talk a little bit about that in the end of the video but yeah a quick time lapse of the unboxing itself uh, let's go so guys that was a quick unboxing of the arc ultra and here we go so i've put this exactly next to each other on this side the big difference in the size is right here you can see it is like three four centimeters you know what i'm gonna measure it be right back so the size difference is three three and a half centimeters so the arc ultra is three and a half centimeters bigger than the old arc itself now the speakers are pretty much identical from this angle except that the old arc had that matte finish on the back of it now the new arc ultra doesn't have that black instead they have put this big thing in on the behind of the arc itself and then you got the play and pause button was on the arc before as you can see right here but now they have pushed put it on the back of the black matte thing on the back of it so this is how the old arc looks and this is how the new arc ultra looks so we got the new bluetooth button and the internet cable to put in in the middle and we got the new connect button as well the same kind of button that era 300 has and i think sonos move 2 also has that kind of button other than that we got the connect button on the right side and we got the hdmi on the left side as you can see so yeah that was the exterior uh, comparison between the arc and the arc ultra so what we're gonna do now is connect the arc ultra to try it out for the first time let's go so guys we're back and uh, like i said i've tried it uh, three or four times uh, no luck uh, the screen just turns white like that and i cannot do true play not that it matters true play or not you know what i feel about true play sometimes it does make the system sound a little bit better but i think it's kind of gimmicky uh, like it is but yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the first sound test right now we're gonna first do the sound test on zero on every setting there is just right out the box we're gonna do uh, zero on bass zero on treble no loudness uh, no height no nothing we're gonna try it like it is straight from the box just listening to the sound and then we're gonna do uh, some uh, settings changes for the equalizer and the height audio as well for the arc ultra so first sound test is uh, as you know we gotta try pray you know the favorite movie on this channel is the movie Prey. So we're gonna do the first test is the movie Prey, and uh, maybe we will change the uh, or no, we, we're not gonna change because we we really want to know if there is how the sound changes with the settings and how good the Arc Ultra is. So we're gonna do the same video test. The movie is Prey from Disney Plus, and by the way, if you're new to this channel 
subscribe to the channel because we're gonna do many tests with the Arc Ultra. I also got the Subgen 4 uh, that I'm gonna try out uh, in the next couple of days, but we're gonna first try out the Arc Ultra versus the Arc in tomorrow's video. I think this video is already long enough uh, as it is, but in tomorrow's video we got the Arc Ultra versus the Arc, the old Arc that we're gonna try out on the same settings. So we're gonna use the same settings on both. And then in the next couple of days, we're gonna do uh, sub gen 3 and arc, the old arc, and versus the new arc ultra and the new sub gen 4, and so on. So, yeah, pretty excited to try the system out uh, like this. Actually, uh, I've been waiting for a new speaker for uh, Sonos also to drop, but we're gonna talk about the arc ultra later on in this video. And uh, yeah, let's do a video test. Let's go, move test. And that was the sound test of the Arc Ultra. I had some issues with Arc uh, with the app itself a couple of minutes ago, or uh, right before I was doing the test. I will, the volume slider didn't work for some reasons, but now it's working, as you can see. Uh, you know what? Uh, we're gonna check if uh, Trueplay is working now or not, because I have restarted a couple of things and. Uh, Okay, so true play is working now. Uh, the issue is fixed. I don't know what was going on. Maybe I was trying it too early within the app update itself. But uh, the true play is working. So I'll be right back. Uh, so we have a true play and we're gonna change the settings after that. We're gonna talk about our culture. That was the true play done. Uh, so everything is working great now in the app. Uh, true play is done. We're gonna have that. Also in the next test we're gonna do so we have true play and we're gonna change the settings in a bit I'm gonna show you the settings I'm gonna use in the next clip We're gonna pretty much use the same uh, Settings that we have on the arc because that's the settings that uh, usually works best for the living room that I have so Yeah Now when it comes to the arc ultra, I would say it's now a wow difference in the sound uh, it is louder especially that sound motion woofer that have that they have added i would say that that is 25 25 percent better than the old arc when it comes to the sound in general i would say 15 to 20 percent uh, as i have tried it right now without any settings i would say that is around 15 to 20 percent better than the old arc so 
what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change the settings and do another test the same clip we're gonna use and we're gonna see if how it sounds with some settings changed in the Arc Ultra so let's do that I was gonna turn the screen but let's do it like this so as you can see true play is tuned we got zero we're gonna push it to plus five treble on plus two uh, loudness on we got height on plus seven like we have on the arc uh, on the old arc itself speech enhancement we're gonna push it so it is on high when we push that turned on so we have it on high usually when you have uh, when you start it it is on medium but i'm gonna use i use mine on high uh, i like it that way so yeah that's the settings that we're gonna use so let's turn the camera and let's try it out the Sonos Arc Ultra with the settings change so we got plus five on bass plus two on treble and plus seven on the height of the soundbar uh, the sound didn't change much uh, I was surprised by the doubt that the bass was pretty much sounding the same or given the same amount of power uh, the main th the the one thing that i noticed that changed a lot was the height of the channel so especially that with that last scene where the horns blows off you could really hear it more from above uh, when with the plus seven changes that i did on height but other than that i didn't feel much changed in the bass or the sound itself it sounded almost the same as with the settings off on maybe it is with true play uh, i don't know if it's because of that uh, but i'm gonna turn off true play actually i'm gonna do the same scene with true play off uh, for you guys so we can see if uh, true play is the one that's been ghosting the speaker a little bit because like i said i've said this before true play sometimes it's awesome sometimes it just ruins the experience of the uh, audio itself so I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna do the same scene again. Let's go do that.
the Sonos Arc Ultra without true play. I would say it sounds better without true play. Uh, most definitely sounds better without true play. And you know my take on the true play. Sometimes it sounds good, sometimes it, it makes your whole setup sound so bad. So yeah, take whatever you want with that true play. If you want if you like it, use it. If you don't you don't really need to use it. If you can put your settings on the way you like then true play is just the way it is but yeah this is my take on the Sonos Arc Ultra it doesn't give me any wow factor uh, I would say it uh, I would say like this the Sonos Arc uh, was released in 2020 it's four years and a couple of months old amazing of a soundbar amazing 2022 Sonos released a speaker update that messed up their whole setup uh, that messed up all speakers that you had that was the ARC especially the ARC and the Subgen 3 in 20, that 2022 update really messed those things up so the bass was messed up and lowered with 80% of the power or 70-60% of the power was lost they fixed that issue the bass is back in the Subgen's it sounds amazing and feels amazing but that low volume power uh, that low volume uh, problem that Sonos had since 2022 they haven't been able to fix it because I had a guy writing to me a couple of months ago even and telling me that he still has the same problem with this low volume issue with the uh, Sonos Arc and Sonos has tried now for two years releasing update after update trying to fix that issue but they couldn't so what did they do this is my take on it they released a new Sonos Arc pretty much it's pretty much the same sounding soundbar as the old Sonos Arc and I would say that this old Sonos Arc is a beast I've loved it ever since I bought it I've used it for what is it three years now that I've yeah almost three years since I started this channel and that's when I st I started my Sonos I started my channel with the Sonos that I bought. You can watch my first video. That is how I started my channel and that is when I first used it and I tried it. Uh, and I've loved Sonos Arc ever since then. The Sonos Arc and the Subgen 3, amazing. But for now, I don't have that wow factor with the Sonos Arc Ultra. We're gonna, as I said, in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna really compare these two. We're gonna compare the, Arc, the old Arc and the Arc Ultra and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. It is not, like when I was expecting a speaker from Sonos, a new soundbar from Sonos, I thought that they were gonna release something that was gonna blow our minds. But when I saw that they're gonna release pretty much the same speaker at the same price as the, the Sonos Arc Ultra was, just a couple of months ago I knew that this thing that I was talking about just now that's the issue that they're trying to fix they couldn't fix that low volume issue with the Sonos Arc so they're just pushing out a new Sonos Arc and this is what they, uh, it's gonna sound like it sounds amazing the Sonos Arc sounds amazing the Sonos Arc Ultra sounds amazing but for now I would say it gives me that wow because I was then kind of expecting someone thing that pushes out at least 30 to 40 percent better sound than the old thing like when you go
so yeah that's my take on the sonos arc ultra for today in tomorrow's video we're going to do a comparison video between the arc and the arc ultra so we can so i can show you guys uh what the big difference is in sound and you're gonna see it uh and you're gonna probably agree with me those of you that has bought the speaker today it was released today so it, those of you that have bought the speakers will probably agree with me that this speaker this summer doesn't have that wow factor for now that's my take on it but yeah if you're interested in more of these videos of comparing the arc with versus the ultra and you're new to this channel subscribe to my channel because we're going to do a lot of tests we have the subgen 4 as well we're gonna compare the arc and the subgen 3 versus arc ultra versus and the subgen 4 so we're gonna do a, more tests with these two new products that sonos released so stay tuned for that comment if you bought the arc ultra and what you think about the arc ultra um, yeah subscribe like comment and as always guys i use real dolby atmos so my all my videos get copyright strikes i do this test for you guys of course for me as well but mostly for you guys so please subscribe like and comment and i'll see you on the next one bye